Hello my friends, this is Dobek Cohen speaking to you from Jerusalem and I want to share with you today how we're meant to be doing mitzvahs because our sages teach us that mitzvahs are the connection points that help us tap into God consciousness and into our souls and into depth of life. But if we're just doing them out of rote or out of guilt or fear, we're not going to get what we're meant to get. So I want you to imagine this. Tiger Woods is the 18th hole, US Open, he's come back, 10 strokes down, and he's standing there, he's about to hit his shot. Everyone in the stands, complete silence in the stands. They've even turned their phones off. Billions of people watching around the world. Is he going to get this little white ball in the hole? So here he is, Tiger Woods, bam. And he knocks it, and the ball rolls, 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 rolls. And everyone holding their breath, there's silence, and bam. The ball drops into the hole, Tiger falls to his knees, yeah, yeah, the stands go wild, everyone's screaming, yeah, he's done it, he hit the little white ball into the hole. So our sages teach us that when you're about to do the mitzvah, Hashem and all the angels and all the tzaddikim and the Baal Shem Tov and Rav Moshe Feinstein, everyone's watching you. They're watching you. You're about to put on to fill in. Everyone's saying, is Dov Bear, is he going to do it? There's silence in the stands. Everyone's watching the spotlight. Can he do it? Dov Bear's about to do the most astronomical, monumental thing ever. And then you've got to say the bracha, Baruch. You've got to understand what a bracha is. A bracha isn't just, blessed are you, Lord our God. Baruch really comes from the word berech, which means knee, which you pull, means to pull down, to get something to come down. So you're pulling God consciousness down. Baruch, vroom. I feel God consciousness, God next to me now. Now I can say Ata, Baruch Ata. I have an actual close, real, experiential relationship with God. God, Baruch Ata, Shem, Kainu, Melech Alam, Sheikh Yishan, Mitzvah, Vesivanu, Laniach, Tefillin, Bam! You pull the strap of your Tefillin, you should really fall to your knees at this point, hands in the air. Hashem, all the angels, the Baal Shem, everyone's screaming, Yeah, he did it! Yeah! You should have a feeling of euphoria. I've just tapped into, I've stuck my fingers in the plug socket of divine consciousness. Yeah, and then you're tying seven times around your arm. You're tying yourself, connecting yourself, bonding yourself to Hashem with your mind and your heart all in the same place. Deep, deep, deep pleasure. And then someone comes up to you and says, here, do you want some pizza? Or do you want to play Fortnite or video games? You're like, what? I I'm tapped into God consciousness, but if you're just putting on your tefillin and it's just like whatever, then of course video games and food is more pleasurable and exciting for you. But this is how we're meant to be doing our mitzvahs. They're meant to be the things we're looking forward to the most, the most astronomical, monumental, amazing things in our life. So I'm just asking you, try this for anything. You're lighting your candles for Shabbat. You're giving tzedakah. You're taking challah. Whatever you're doing, try and do your mitzvah and just feel this is... This is the final second of the Super Bowl and you're going to catch the last ball in the end zone. Whatever it, your example is, and put that into your mitzvahs and you're going to start seeing that you're yearning for mitzvahs, you're craving for mitzvahs, you want them, you're looking forward to them, you prepare for them, you're building up for them, and then they become the main point of your life so that you can actually have a deep and authentic relationship with Hashem and your soul and your higher self. Thank you, my friends. I'll talk to you next time.